Hey guess what, we've got some major updates on the Galaxy S25 Ultra today, including the scoop on the world's first hardware it's packing. What's up guys, Sal here, so our first bit of information is about the regular Galaxy S25. Seems like the days of small Android flagships might be numbered, because the word on the street is Samsung's 2025 compact flagship might not be all that compact. If you're into pocket sized phones with top notch specs, right now your go to is probably the S24. But with the S25, your choices for compact flagship might be even slimmer because Samsung's apparently going bigger with their next lineup. According to rumors in South Korea, the base Galaxy S25 will switch to a 6.4 inch display from the 6.2 inch panel on the S24. Specifically, we're looking at 6.36 inches. Now, whether the S25 Plus and S25 Ultra will follow suit with a screen size boost next year remains uncertain. Here's an interesting tidbit. It's not just Samsung making moves. Apple is supposedly upping the ante too with the iPhone 16 Pro, expected to grow from 6.1 inches to 6.3 inches. Seems like it's becoming a trend across the industry. Now, a 0.2 inch difference might not sound like much, but it could mean a little extra wiggle room inside the phone. That could translate to a beefier battery or better cameras down the line. Interestingly, the rumor reiterates that we're indeed gonna see a considerable design change with the Galaxy S25 lineup. And get this, they brought in a former Mercedes-Benz designer to lead the charge, so it seems like bumping up the display size on the S25 could be a big part of this revamp. Now before going further, here's a little heads up. Samsung is launching their new TVs and audio on March 21st, and to hype it up, they're giving away their freestyle second gen portable projector to lucky folks like you. All you gotta do is put your name and email and sign up. No need to pay or share your card details. It's a good opportunity. If you're interested, I'll put the link down in the description. Now let's discuss why the Galaxy S25 Ultra is poised to have a significant AI edge over the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So word on the street from South Korean media is that Samsung is ramping up the production of LPDDR6 RAM. Their plan? To debut it first on the Galaxy S25 series, making it the first smartphone to have this tech. The iPhone 16 Pro Max won't get this new RAM and this will give a major competitive advantage to Samsung and the S25 lineup. Why? Well, this next gen RAM boasts a hefty increase in data bandwidth which is crucial for handling AI tasks at lightning speed right on the device. In other words, the S25 Ultra will be able to do more AI heavy lifting without constantly needing to tap into the cloud or rely on an internet connection. Right now, a bunch of AI features on phones like the S24 and the Pixel 8 are heavily relying on the internet, which not only makes them a little slow, but also if you're off the grid or in a dead zone, Tough luck, these features can be sluggish or just won't work. So being able to tackle more AI tasks on device could be a game changer, potentially broadening the overall capabilities of smartphone AI. Now it's not just about RAM though, the S25 Ultra is set to blitz past the iPhone 16 Pro Max in processing speed. If you've got some mind-blowing numbers, click here to know more and I'll see you there.